Hey everyone, so these are the syngomiums that I have at my household as of this moment. So maybe in future I'm gonna add more of these beautiful, beautiful plants. So now let me introduce you what syngomiums are. If in case you don't have any idea what syngomiums are or about their plant care, their whatabouts, then I will give you a hint of information just in case you want to purchase and if you guys have these beauties already, then just enjoy the video and keep on watching! Syngoniums are genuses of flowering plants in the family of Araceae of, or Araceae, native to tropical rainforest in southern Mexico. The West Indies, Central and South America, they are woody vines growing to heights of 10 to 20 meters or more in trees. They have leaves that change shapes according to the plant stage of growth and adult leaves form are often much more lobed than the juvenile forms usually seen on small houseplants. So let me show you guys my syngonium collection. I only have a small collection of syngoniums but let me start with this beautiful white butterfly just tiny and I don't know how old she is but I bought her last year 2021 so it's so pretty and lush I have the pink coral syngonium I'm not so sure about this one though but um, it looks similar with pink syngonium but definitely not a pink splash because I know what pink splash is and I'm planning to get one in the future but this is what I have at, as of this moment so this used to be one pot and I propagated her last year and now I got two pots and I also gave my friend one small pot because she likes pink so here it is and then the next one is Syngonium Winlandii or Goose Feet. They call this Goose Feet because it kind of looks like similar to a Goose Feet though. I mean the patterns, as you can tell, looks like a Goose Feet. <laughs> so it comes from the name itself and it's so pretty. This is one of my favorite among them all. And then I have the Three Kings or the Magic Marble. So pretty and white and some of the leaves looks like um, marble or elbow but it's not. So if you're new to Syngoniums, well then let me do the comparison. Let's do the comparison with the elbow syngonium and the three kings as you can see the leaves of the three kings is more elongated and pointier and the elbow is more like heart shape or like arrowhead this one is heart shape one and it's rounder and this one is like definitely an arrowhead shape so maybe now you can tell let's compare it side by side now you can tell the difference again if you are a newbie with syngoniums don't be confused this video the purpose of this video is to guide you especially the beginners out there so these are the comparisons and the differences three kings on the left and syngonium elbow on the right well, this one is a mix-up of Syngonium Aurea, which is the yellower version. I mean, 
as you can see this is this pot is a mix up of Aurea and Albo. So Syngonium Albo is on the whiter side. White. And the Aurea is on the yellow side. So can you tell the difference? This one is yellow, this one is yellow, and these are white. So that's the difference of Albo and Aurea. Although the Aurea seems to be pricier than the Albo, but when it comes to looks, definitely majority of people picks the Albo because of the white variegation and it really is so pretty. But if you're going to invest or if you're a plant collector, then you can have the Aurea version. Even in Monstera, um, Philodendron, Alocasia, name it. They have Albo and they have the Aurea version. So if you can afford it, then go ahead and get one of these beauty. And this is not so expensive. Now in the market, it's getting cheaper. I don't know about the Aurea, but the Albo definitely decreased price as the pandemic ends. So I suggest you guys get one of these. If you want cheaper version of Albos and Aurea, then definitely Syngonium is one of the best plant to get. Next one is my Syngonium Arrowhead and this one is just the normal one. It kind of look like Syngonium Batik but it's not. But definitely Syngonium Batik is on my wish list. So I can see some yellowing of the leaves because I transplanted her into the soil. Now she's been here for two weeks in the soil because I propagated her in waters for I think like a couple of months because I just got this from my neighbor <laughs> this one is for free so I thought of having the zingoniums because they just chop it off and throw on the streets they burn them and throw them so I just feel like getting some and then this is what I have lush Syngonium arrowheads for free. Well, let's talk about the soil. Syngoniums are not that fussy when it comes to soil mix, but I do prefer a well-draining soil. Although some of the soil at the nursery, they use clay or dense type of soil, but I don't do it. What I use is my old or cast off cactus and succulent soil mix because it has a lot of cocoa peat. And now what I do is I have the cactus soil mix. I added up some more cocoa peat and then rice hull. So it will be more aerated and well draining because syngoniums loves to be watered and they love moisture. You don't want to water it often, but you want to keep the moisture just right. So fertilizer, I use either NPK 14-14-14 or the organic chicken manure. So that's what I use to fertilize them. But don't over fertilize your plants. Always, always, I remind people not to over fertilize them. So what I do is I just first, I just fertilize them like three, two to three times a year. So that would be enough to have this lush type of plants so now let me show you guys how to cut and propagate they're one of the fastest plant to propagate especially in waters i kid you not so um this one is another form of volandii although the patterns are quite narrow Unlike the goose feet, the patterns are kind of splash. The white patterns of the goose feet is kind of scattered. And this one is just like 
one sharp line at the center and it's so pretty and velvety as well so let me show you the side-by-side -side comparison of it so this is the goose feet and then this one is the normal woolen DI so which one do you prefer I don't know but if you want you can get both so that you will have more syngonium collection so this is what I propagated two months ago and look at the roots guys it's crazy it really grows so fast it just a blink of an eye and then there you have it's as easy as propagating pothos I swear so that's how easy it is so let me show you guys how I cut the vines let's start with this one so I'm going to get from here look at the roots okay so here and I can still cut them there you have it and then fresh clean water and just put it right there just wait for a month or maybe a few weeks not even a month just wait for it and you will see how fast the roots are growing and then you're ready to put it in the soil if you want or leka or just leave it like that just leave it there for a couple of months if you want i don't know but this is how you propagate your syngonium just like pathos and the three kings as well i want to sniff up some There you go that's it for today for our syngonium video and if you guys haven't seen my other videos feel free to view my playlist and if you guys need more information about different type of plants it's right there at my playlist um, soil mix plant care and I also have fish care videos so feel free to view my playlist guys and feel free to comment as well i would love to hear from you about your gardening journey and your plant stories so that's it for today thanks for joining me and thanks for watching this video so i guess i will see you all on my next one have a great day and happy gardening bye